In this video, I will be discussing about the Common Data Service dependency in Power Automate approvals. If we go to the Power Platform Admin Center and we click on Environments, we can see a list of environments in here. Now, if I want to um, enable users to create approval flows in a new environment, I'll have to create first an environment by clicking on the New button here. I'll just give it a name, New US Environment. The environment type will be Trial. It's going to be located in the United States. And I'm not going to create a database yet. I'll just go ahead and click Save. This will create the new trial environment and it will appear in this list. As you can see here, I have a new environment in US and it's a trial. Now, if I click on this environment, it will take me to admin.powerapps.com. The reason this is, is because this environment doesn't have CDS. So environments without CDS are managed through the Power Apps Admin Center, whereas in my environments with CDS are managed through the Power Platform Admin Center, such as, let's say, this one. If I click on this one, it will open up in Power Platform Admin Center. But this one, because it doesn't have CDS, I can manage it through the Power Apps Admin Center here. And for this, video I will add a new user so a new environment maker over the environment to enable that user to create approval flows through Power Automate so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on security as you can see security is managed through the Power Apps Admin Center in a non CDS environment so uh, I have two roles here, Environment Admin, Environment Maker. To enable users to create resources, uh, those users should have the Environment Maker role. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on Environment Maker. And in here, I will search for the user. The username is Spider-Man. I'm going to pick the user and click Save. And I can see that the permissions were updated successfully. And if I refresh this page, I can see the user under the environment maker role. Now on this uh, second browser window, I already logged in with the Spider-Man account. And I can see that Spider-Man has access to the super team default environment. All users on a tenant are mapped automatically to the environment maker role on the default environment. Spider-Man should be able to see the uh, should be able to see two environments here because Spider-Man now has access to the new US environment that I just created. So I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh. And if I don't see it here, it might be because uh, it's going to take a while to refresh. Luckily, I can see it. So uh, the permission was uh, updated almost uh, instantly. So I'm just going to select the new US environment from the list. So now I'm switching to that environment. So now if I go to create in Power Automate, I can um, I can create a, let's say an instant flow. That starts with a button. And I'm going to go ahead and send an approval.
and I'm going to configure the approval so that the first person to respond can finish the approval request. So this would be um, the title, which is going to, going to be, please approve this request. And I will assign it to Spider-Man. So I will assign it to myself, to the current user. I'm going to click Save. and test. The approval uh, connection was successful, so this will start the approval. The flow run failed because, as it says here, the current user does not have permission to create a common data service database for this environment. Please ask an envir environment admin to create the database. Now, the error message might not be self-explanatory, especially in the approval context, but the explanation here is that in order to start an approval process, we need a common data service database. And because this environment does not have a, a database, a, an approval process cannot be started. So if we switch back to the Power Apps Admin Center and we click on the back arrow here, we can see that the environment indeed does not have a database. But because Spider-Man is not an environment admin, he doesn't have the necessary permission to create a database on the environment which means that when attempting to send out an approval, automatically uh, Power Automate will try to create the database. But because Spider-Man doesn't have that privilege, the approval request will fail. So the attempt to create that approval will fail with this forbidden um, error message, with, which is correct because uh, it's a it's an authorization uh, error that this guy here doesn't have the necessary privileges to create the database. So in order to overcome this issue, we either create the database through this button here. If we click on the button here, we can create it because this user, Superman, is an environment administrator and also a global administrator. So he's got the necessary privileges to create the database. But instead of doing that, I will um, use Power Automate with Superman's account. I will sign in. And I will demonstrate how the database is created seamless, seamlessly when a global admin or an environment admin creates the approval request. So I'm just going to switch to, let's see here, I'm going to switch to new US uh, environment, which is this one. Click on create. I'll follow the same process as Spider-Man. So I'm just going to go ahead and click instant flow. Manually trigger flow. Click create. Click on new step. Search for the start. Start and wait for an approval. First to respond. Please approve this 
request. And I will assign it to Superman. So the same account. I'm clicking save, now clicking test. I'll perform the trigger action, save and test. The approval connection is okay. So it's a valid connection. I'll click continue and run flow and then done. Now in this case, because I'm running the flow with an environment admin, the approval request actually starts and now it's waiting for the response. Now, if I'm going back to Power Apps Admin Center, I can see that a database is being provisioned. Now, this might take a while, maybe a few minutes. It's quite quick. So if we refresh a couple times, we will see that the environment is uh, turned into a Dynamics 365 instance. So it's still provisioning the database. We can see that the, um, that the database was already provisioned. And now the environment type is a Dynamics 365 instance. And I have the instance version here and I can manage the security for this instance through here. And if I go to Power Platform Admin Center and refresh and go back to environments and click on the new US environment, it no longer redirects me to the Power Apps Admin Center. And now I can manage this environment through the Power Platform page. Now going back to uh, Superman's account, this approval request is waiting for a response. Now if I switch back to Spider-Man's account and I go back, go in edit mode and test this again. Run flow, done. I can see that it's working. So Spider-Man was successfully able to create an approval. I'm going to click on edit, delete. And then I will start and wait for an approval. Not that one. Start and wait. First to respond. Please approve this request assigned to, to me. So Spider-Man, I'm going to pick the same account. Test, save and test. So now the flow is running. And it's successfully waiting for a response from the approver. Now the approver is also Spider-Man. Outlook.office365.com And I have a request. And I will approve it. I can go back here and see that this action succeeded. Now, if I want to see the approval record in CDS, 
I can uh, go back to Superman's account and uh, this time I'm going to go to make.powerapps.com and make sure I'm uh, looking at the correct environment and the correct environment is new US environment I'm going to switch to that and then click on data and go to entities this will bring up a list of entities on this instance or on this environment. I have a default view of um, entities, but I have to switch to all entities because this is where the approval entities will show up. So if I scroll down, I can see three approval related entities, approval, approval request and approval response. Now looking at the approval request entity at the data inside this entity, I can see three requests. So if I switch the view to all fields, I can see that the last one, which was created at um, 8.23 PM, was sent by Spider-Man. And going back to entities, I can see the, I should be able to see the approval response. So I will switch again to all entities, go to approval response, click on data, all fields. And I see the response at 8.24 p.m. Um, owned by Spider-Man. Spider so if you actually look at the approval ID index, which ends with D611, we can match it with the approval request. So remember D611, going back. Again, going to all approval request data, all fields, this is the one. So that approval response matches this approval request. I hope this uh, explanation brings more clarity on how um, approvals are dependent on common data service. Thank you.